हेलो एवरीवन माय टॉपिक फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्किन एंड स्किन रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स सो द टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट इंक्लूड्स स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्किन इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन लेयर्स ऑफ स्किन एंड देन स्किन रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक ड्राई स्किन एक्ने पिगमेंटेशन रिंकल्स प्रिकली हीट एंड बॉडी ऑर्डर सो स्किन इज द लार्जेस्ट बॉडी ऑर्गन वेइंग फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ टोटल बॉडी वेट अबाउट फोर किलोग्राम्स एंड एन एरिया ऑफ टू मीटर स्क्वायर it performs many vital functions including protection against external physical chemical as well as prevention of uh, excess water loss from the body and it also has role in thermoregulations so the basically the three layers of skin are epidermis dermis and hypodermis uh, so epidermis is the outermost layer and it acts as a barrier to infections it's made up of stratified squamous epithelium cells and then comes dermis it's the middle layer that contains nerves hair roots sweat glands oil glands and blood vessels after that hypodermis hypodermis contains fat cells blood vessels connective tissue that helps to maintain the body temperature that is thermoregulation and it's also called as subcutaneous tissue so epidermis is consist of uh, five layers that is uh, stratum corneum stratum lucidum stratum granulosum stratum spinulosum stratum basal so stratum corneum consists of 25 to 30 layers of flattened dead keratinocyte cells which makes it water repellent and then comes stratum lucidum it's a smooth translucent layer of the epidermis this this thin layer of cell is found only in the thick skin of the palm and soles stratum lucidum is responsible for the capability of the skin to stretch and it also contain protein which is responsible for the degeneration of skin cells stratum granulosum consist of 3 to 5 layers and undergoes apoptosis it contains granules known as keratin keratohyalin these granules release a lipid rich secretion which act as water repellent and then comes uh, stratum spinulosum it contains uh, 8 to 10 layers of cells and it is closely arranged the, that is the cells in this layer are closely arranged to each other uh, stratum basal consists of a single layer of cubical or col columnar keratinocyte cell keratinocyte cells then comes dermis dermis lies between the epidermis and subcutaneous layer and contains many types of sensory receptors uh, responsible for touch vibration pain temperature and pressure uh, the type of cells uh, located in the dermis are fibroblast cells mast cells uh, histocy histocytes hair follicles nerves lymphatic vessels and sweat glands hypodermis it is a deep layer of skin deep to the skin and also known as subcutaneous layer consist of loose connective tissue which uh, with uh, collagen and elastic fibers main type of cells uh, present in hypodermis are adipose tissue uh, macrophages and fibroblast cells uh, main function of uh, hypodermis is um, insulation and it is uh, it act as energy source uh, now uh, comes after skin related problems first one is dry skin so what is dry skin dry skin is a very common uh, skin conditions which is characterized by the lack of appropriate amount of water present in the most superficial layer of skin that is epidermis okay so epidermis uh, dry skin has low level of sebum and can be prone to sensitivity it usually feels and uh, tight and uncomfortable after washing so the signs and symptoms for dry skin are uh, uh, it will feel rough itchy scaly or flaking skin uh, um, the people if with a dark complexion it appears as gray or ashy kind of skin chapped chapped and cracked lips also uh, is uh, one of the symptoms of dry skin cause of dry skin is uh, sometimes weather or central heating or more air conditioning fireplaces and uh, tight clothing and compression use of harsh soap and uh, detergents uh, excessive sun exposure aging and treatment uh, treatment is moisturize moisturizer use of moisturizer use of emollient uh, skip skip the drying soap 
don't use drying soap which can uh, dry off the moisture from the upper layer of the skin limit the water exposure some marketed formulations of uh, moisturizer and emollients are uh, cetaphil uh, daily moisturizer lotus weed rejuvenate moisturizer himalaya moisturizer and uh, dermaco 3% vitamin e face moisturizer next problem is acne acne is an inflammatory skin condition that occurs when oil and dead cells block the pores opening of uh, causing sebum to build up inside the pore it is also known as acne vulgaris which is a long term skin disease that occurs when hair follicles are clogged with the dead skin cells and oil from the skin acne is characterized by uh, black heads white heads pimple uh, oily skin and possibly scarring it primarily affects areas of skin which is relatively higher number of oil glands including face upper part of the chest and back types of acne acne uh, are non inflammatory types and inflammatory types non inflammatory types include white heads black heads and subclinical acne inflammatory types include uh, papules nodular acne pustules and cysts then uh, you can see th this is a uh, uh, healthy healthy skin and then uh, after after it is a white head uh, condition and then black head condition of the skin then pep, um, skin uh, conditions for the papules and that postules causes of acne uh, includes uh, genetic causes stress high glycemic load diet several medications uh, like uh, use of uh, retinoids uh, like uh, adapalene and uh, hormonal activities such as uh, occurs during menstrual cycle and puberty uh, eating more chocolate or uh, greasy foods treatment includes uh, topical retinoids uh, antibiotic benzoyl peroxide azelaic acid and salicylic acid marketed formulations for um, acne treatment includes 15% azelaic acid gel isotrex adapalene gel Mm, uh, that is adafrin tretinoin cream uh, that is uh, 0.025% tretinoin and benzaclin and benzoyl peroxide gel uh, next problem is pigmentation pigmentation is a disorder that occurs due to the disturbance of human skin color either loss or reduction which may be related to loss of melanocytes or the inability of melanocytes to produce melanin or transport melanosomes so the um, pigmentation disorders are hyperpigmentation hypopigmentation vitiligo albinism hyperpigmentation is a darkening of an area of skin causing and um, caused by increased melanin secretion and hy hypopigmentation is caused by less production of melanin or its depletion vitiligo is an autoimmune dis disease Uh, in which there is an appearance of smooth white patches in in the skin albinism is caused by absence of enzyme that produce melanin treatment of pigmentation is use of hydroquinone azelaic acid glycolic acid kojic acid and arbutin marketed formulations are uh, 2% kojic acid face serum 6 or 12% uh, glycolic acid cream and um, azelaic acid from the ordinary and 20% vitamin c face serum from dermaco next problem is a uh, wrinkle wrinkles are the fine lines and creases that forms in the skin and uh, some wrinkles can become deep and furrow may be especially noticeable around uh, eyes mouth and neck skin wrinkles typically appears as a result of aging process such as uh, glycation habitual sleeping position and loss of body mass causes of wrinkles are age uh, exposure to uh, uv light smoking and repeated facial expressions treatment for wrinkles include fillers peeling botulinum toxin and other treatments fillers include uh, the fillers is a biological or systemical mean to inject in hypoderm or in derm tissue so as to implement or enhance a limited area of body for aesthetic purpose use substrate uh, substrates used are bovine collagen autologous collagen uh, cadaveric collagen peeling is a medical treatment consisting 
in a micro aberration of epidermis or superficial and medium derma by meaning of chemical or physical agent peel used in treatments are uh, pyruvic acid salicylic acid retinoic acid triceroic acetic acid and uh, that is uh, 10 to 20 percent of this triceroic acetic acid now botulinum toxin is injected for the treatment of facial ex uh, facial wrinkles and it is most common uh, entry procedure for clinician seeking to incorporate aesthetic treatment into their practice it is a potent neurotoxin that it that inhibits the release of acetylcholine at neuromuscular junction other treatments include uh, dermabrasion uh, laser surgery and uh, ultrasound therapy next problem is uh, prickly heat prickly heat is also called as malaria it is a skin rash caused by the uh, trapped sweat under the skin sweat can become trapped when the narrow ducts through which sweat travels to the surface becomes clogged so the symptoms of uh, prickly heat includes uh, irritation uh, itching small blisters that can be large or blisters uh, um, red red areas of the skin treatment for prickly heat includes uh, avoid heat and humidity avoid further sweating use of smoothing cream or lotion uh, wearing loose cotton clothing use of antibacterial soap avoid caffeine which can make body lose water uh, drink plenty of cool water or electrolyte replacement fluid even if it's not thir thirsty body odor natural bacteria on skin feed in our sweat and release the smell we can uh, call it body odor also known as bromohydrosis the warm damp conditions is ideal environment for the bacteria to feed on the sweat certain foods uh, like curry uh, garlic spices alcohol and some type of medications can also trigger or make you sweat and and it makes sweat unpleasant treatment for body odor are uh, keep the armpits clean uh, use of deodorant or antiperspirant have have a shower or bath at least once a day clothing clothing should include natural fiber which allow skin to breathe resulting in better evaporation of sweat avoid uh, spicy food some marketed formulations for antiperspirant and deodorants are uh, from dove and uh, from sanfe antiperspirant uh, cream and derm adopter cream these are my references mm, thank you